Okay, well, here we are today uh, under the auspices of the Speaker's Corner Trust. Um, this is the area that we're going to dedicate for um, public speaking in Newcastle under Lyme. So I'm going to start with a piece to, to this camera now. Hopefully it'll be able to pick up the sound. This is what's called a sworn affidavit creating reborn men's trust. The straw man and government legal fiction formerly known as Alan Peter Michael Smith. Date of birth 181057. National insurance number WM 865758D. Born Stoke-on-Trent, Staffordshire, England. Father Joseph Bernard Smith, mother Ermgard Bremer. Made this day, 5th of June, 2012. First principle for the preamble. Liberating overriding universal principle. I hold that all individuals have the right to exercise sole dominion and control over their own livelihoods and livelihood, as long as they do not forcibly interfere with the equal right of others to live in whatever manner they choose, and that we enforce the law evenly, without fear or favour, under common law jurisdiction, within a public court of record. That's it. You either believe and intend to live your life according to this guiding principle, or you do not. The difficulty with first principles is that they are inviolate. One either believes in them, or one does not. Once you adopt one, you are then forced to square all your other principles, political, against this first one. And if you cannot fit what you wish to adopt into that first principle, then you must modify or abandon whatever it was that you intended to do. Preamble, section one. Notification to protagonists. So with this affidavit do I, Peter Smith, hereby make a public, oh, written king. and vocal declaration of my free man status and make notification to the Church of Rome, to all Vatican officials, priests and all its papists, clergy, to the Church of England, the Queen of England, defender of the Catholic faith, and the House of Windsor PLC, and to all monarchies, all presidents of republics and other bodies on these global isles. To all prime ministers, all ministers of states, civil servants, crown agents, secretaries of states and foreign secretaries of the Commonwealth. To all members of parliament and congress, elected or unelected, or operating via NGOs or as advisors in committees. To all crown agents and other employees of the crown, being the crown of the Holy Roman Empire, as well as the crown of the monarch of the United Kingdom acting as CEO. To all members and representatives of bar councils and law societies, including the Lord Chancellor and the Attorney General. To all police forces, policemen and their commanders, including the Association of Chief of Police Officers, a private limited corporation and to all military commanders and footmen and personnel, to the Rothschild family as well as the Rothschild controlled and funded imperial clandestine Israel, the hand in the global fist, and all other military junters feigning allegiance to the people, no matter under which governmental flag they profess to walk beneath or supranational entity they profess to represent, to all governments, whether de facto or de jure, to all alphabet agencies of the global controlling elite, such as the NSA, CIA, FBI, TSA, MI5, MI6, FDA, BBC, ABC, NBC, ITV, as well as to all other appointed or self-appointed authority figures, would-be world dictators, cabals operating covertly and overtly against me, or business leaders as well as judges in courts and their henchmen, all attorney generals and judges in their courts who operate tribunals, courts as kangaroo courts operating under unified commercial code, admiralty law and all unlawfully at that. To all those bodies acting under the guise of legitimacy or parasitic banking cartel boards of directors as well as the boards of the Seven Sisters Oil Cartel and its OPEC front. To all mandarins of business in food, pharmaceutical energy and the military industrial corporatocracy masquerading as legitimate and friendly intention towards the people to all known and unknown slave masters trading in people, governments everywhere in effect, to all federal banks and national banks and Western democratic governments under the influence of the Rothschild Global Control Agenda for world domination and the others with which they work, to all other despots and tyrants who purport to lead and govern and advise me and to offer services or try and collect money forcibly from me without written contract under common law so signed, all organized crime bosses and their gangs, drug cartels, triad gangs, mafias and hoods. To all the above I say you obtain your so-called authority via sham rigged democratic circuses which are in effect elective dictatorships and of no good for the people. 
to you all do I announce the reawakening of myself and make declaration publicly here now that I have been gifted by my life, God, with a newfound clarity and understanding of the point and purpose of my sojourn here on this beautiful planet. I declare that I am now awake and fully aware as to your objectives, plans, methods, intents and deceits prepared as traps for me in my formerly naive but trusting and well-meaning state. Henceforth, thanks to my awakening and this public declaration of former naivety, I claim that all that should have been done is now done, non pro tonk, and that all which should have been now is. And I declare that my previous condition is now replaced by grace of my good self and newly acquired knowledge, and that from here on in, before any action, regime, law, provision, requirement, tax, levy, or demand or restriction can be imposed upon me, then it can only be done with my fully informed consent and my tacit verbal or written agreement, and that is the basic initial requirement. I further declare that should the redress I seek not be broadcast as I demand via global terrestrial and satellite networks, via the BBC lead head station within 30 calendar days from the date of submission of this affidavit, then I will seek refuge in a safer kind of place on this planet. Regardless, I will now make a full and informed renunciation of my acquiescence and previously lazy acceptance of the controlling and limited belief systems of slavery, oppression, cruelty and mind control which you have forced upon me by the system's political and media trickery, treachery, lies and false promises as well as overt, secret and covert activities by the global corporatocracy whom by representing life in this world as a level playing field fair to and for all men when it was none other than a stacked deck of crony capitalism operating on a full service to self agenda have now relinquished all rights to their assets and position and will be answerable to a jury of their peers in a common law court of record duly convened. Section 2. Demand for public acknowledgement of my declaration of entitlement to my inalienable rights as set out in this charter sought within 30 calendar days. I, the former legal fiction, entity, legal presumption and straw man known as Alan Peter Michael Smith, do hereby rescind that title and assert my rights under common law to be now known simply as Peter of England. I declare that I adhere to and accept fully the Re Movements Charter, which states and which should be publicly broadcast via media networks as follows. I, Peter of the family Smith, sui juris, a flesh and blood man and blessed living soul serving God alone, to hereby affirm the following is my statement of truth. A. Whereas I, as a free man, and other members believing in world freedom and people's rights to self-determination with an open and transparent non-secretive society of common fellowship, challenge the cult of the omnipotent corporatocracy, military-industrial banking complex, and state, and defend the rights of the individual. Whereas I hold, B. Whereas I hold that all individuals have the right to exercise sole dominion over their own lives, and have the right to live in whatever man they, manner they choose as long as they do not forcibly interfere with the equal right of others to live in whatever manner they choose and that we enforce the law evenly without fear or favour Sinking the recording without fear or favour under common law jurisdiction within a public court of record C. Whereas governments throughout history have regularly operated on the opposite principle that the state has the right to dispose of the lives of the individuals and the fruits of their labours. Even within the United States, Great Britain and Europe and all other political parties except free movement grant to government the rights to regulate the lives of individuals and seize the fruit of their labour without their consent. Whereas D. I, on the contrary, deny the right of any government to do these things and hold that where governments exist they must not violate the rights of any individual, namely, one, the right to life. Accordingly, I support the prohibition of the initiation of physical force against others for any reason whatsoever. Two, the right to liberty of speech and action. Accordingly, I oppose all attempts by governments to abridge the freedom of speech and the press, as well as government censorship in any form. Three, the right to property and free trade. Accordingly, I oppose all government interference with private property, such as confiscation, nationalisation, except by a movement returning the wealth to the people, licensing, certification and statutory granting of rights and benefits, as when so surely granted, then as surely can they be taken away. An eminent domain.
and support the prohibition of robbery, trespass, fraud and misrepresentation, taxation and levies. Four, since governments when instituted must not violate individual rights, I oppose any interference by government in the areas of voluntary and contractual relationships among individuals. People should not be forced to sacrifice their lives and property for the benefit of others. They should be left to free they should be left free to deal with one another as free traders and the resultant economic system, the only one compatible with the protection of the individual's rights, is the free market with finality of settlement in its currency. Five, I reassert my legitimate claim as beneficiary and settler, as well as asserting my claim to all financial entitlements held on trust for me by the Bank of International Settlements, BIS, Central Bahnplatz 2, Basel, Switzerland, CH4002. Telephone number 0041-61280-8080. The assets being stolen from me when the people of the earth were bankrupted in the UK in 1931, in the USA in 1933 by the Gold Confiscation Act, and then globally in September 1944 by the Zionist Global Criminal Banking Cartels Bretton Woods Agreement. Lead position being taken by the Rothschild criminal banking family. Section 3, Declaration of Sovereignty. Okay, that's the cop.